Hello everybody, welcome to the replay of the Champs Ladder quarterfinal, Andy Davo versus Ducky. And as you can see, we've started with a blitz, and Andy Davo has set up in a non-anti-blitz formation. Interesting. Lucky for him that the, the kickoff was in a kind of a bad spot for Ducky. If it had been this side, he would have been completely done. Well, not completely. He can always get the ball back. But obviously, he protected the Palmer, so he'd, 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 he'd done a little bit of a nod to a blitz, um, but not a lot. I mean, <sighs> lizard men are hard. Lizard men are really, really bad to play against in terms of blitz and perfect defence because you've got to commit so much to being able to hit these guys. What's he got? Strength five, block, block, guard, block guard, stand firm, strength six. Block guard stand firm, strength four. Block guard mighty blow. You know, so so to to put so much on the line, you've got to put so much on the line to even deal with this. You're horribly exposed to blitz or perfect defense. If you know, so so I guess they do just completely deny the LOS. So he, I think he was right to put his agility four here to get away. Um, he doesn't have dodge, does he? he? Doesn't have. This is a rookie catcher. So I guess he's the 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 Kaz that Andy has taken in the previous rounds has uh, cost him a bit here, as he doesn't have he doesn't have any dodge on the team at all. But it's still agility four to two plus away, um, and obviously these guys. So yeah, they they completely denied the LOS. But I don't know. I still would have liked to have seen a more balanced setup in case of a blitz. Um, I don't think Andy was right to receive because he had a wizard. So who who chose? I think if Ducky chose to kick, that was the right decision. I, d I don't actually know who chose. Andy chose to receive, yeah. I think I would have chose because Skaven are worse on offense, right? So I would have chose to kick. And then while he's still, because he's only got 12 players, while you've got 11 players, turn him over, maybe with a wizard, maybe not. See if you can go 2 nil up and then you put the game almost out of doubt then, haven't you? Um, Rookies on the bench there. So Ducky's got, what, four good Saurus? Like, really good Saurus, to be fair. Really good Saurus. Um, two rookie Saurus. Um, a really good Skink. Movement 10. <laughs> Block show hand side step. And, uh, yeah, he, ha he had to leave the Crocs open because, you know, he wants to just dodge away, doesn't he? So... Yeah, I think I think Slam want to kick. I, I would want to kick for sure. I mean, I, I I always like to I always like to kick with lizards in general. Obviously not against Claw Pal. But um, now he's got a bribe. Nah, he loves the bribes as Emily Table. Stupid Crocs. Oh yeah, edge four leap. Yeah, the leap is the same as the dodge. So yeah, I guess he should have put them in the middle of all of them. Yeah, yeah, good, Lame. good call, study. I don't know why this isn't working, Jim. Can you not hear me, Fash? So I hear that you hear me, but I just don't hear you. Oh shit! That sucks, doesn't it, Fash Binder? Yeah. No, I can't hear you in the Discord, but I can hear you on the stream. Well, we could do it if you want. You just be a little bit behind on the on the commentating. Blitz to skin piled on. I mean, you can't argue with that, can you? Uh, do you want to join mine real quick, just as, to eliminate a setting as an option? Oh yes, okay then. Right, I'll if you bear with me. I'll just join Fasher's Discord for a second. Um, hello, Fash. Can you hear me? No. Probably not. <laughs> God damn it. God damn it. Well, that's a shame, isn't it? I, I got nothing. I got nothing. That's devastating. <laughs> oh. Fash. Yeah, the, the kick meant that, that Ducky couldn't really pressure the ball, but still, it was like a perfect defence, wasn't it? Apart from exposing skinks. I guess maybe he shouldn't have exposed that skink. Maybe he did it as a tester. Um, potential scoring threat. Was it? Maybe. Should have been. I I guess it it wasn't. Maybe he's using. I right, have it now. One two. Hello. 
Ah, so Fatten says he has, to, you know, sometimes has to restart Discord to get it working. This is what I hate about Slan here. You know, he's making three pluses all over the shop already. Turn one. I mean, obviously he's had to because the blitz, but it's just horrible, isn't it? That they're like, they're just one. crap humans a lot of the time. They're crap humans, but they've got eleven war dancers, kind of. <laughs> oh, huge spot for the Crocs there, isn't it? We did it, Jim. We, we've done it. I pressed oh. all the buttons. Glorious. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha, you, fam. Glorious. Glorious. Hello, Flashfinder. Hey, buddy. What's cracking? Oh, not much. We're just watching two titans of the game here in uh, in the Champs Ladder quarterfinal. Um, obviously, Ducky. No one's as good as Ducky on, on Blood Bowl 2, record-wise. Um, he stands alone, doesn't he? The cheese stands alone. Is he going to feed a rookie? To the uh, a rookie Saurus to the bear. No, he's not. He's gonna let him blitz with it. The blit, the blitz, obviously wasn't as devastating as it could have been, but it still it was still like good, wasn't it? Getting all of his strength and guard in the right places. Bonnets. Yeah, I guess actually just leaving leaving the leaving the bear unmarked is better, isn't it? Because then. You know, he doesn't want to risk a 2 plus blitz, does he? Fails the leap. Wasn't it? Wasn't it? was just a 3 plus leap, though, so he can't really complain, can he? Are you there, Fash? Yes, I'm trying to sync up with you. Uh, let me know when the ball carrier gets blitzed. Now. Okay. Bam. Three dice on the Boom. ball. That was a huge that was a huge Did had Andy already used his reroll that turn? Because he should have rerolled that, shouldn't he? Because that was three dice on the ball. <laughs> um, oh a huge scatter though. Yeah, I like I like I like marking the, the killer there with the rookie Saurus. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, skin placement was isolated. Yeah, so it was it was a tempter the, the skin placement. But I should have still I would have still put him in scoring range. Could have done. Very long links is a plus one to the leap, uh, Kurgle. So they all like leap on a three plus. All the agility three guys leap on a three plus. Um, the agility four ones leap on a two plus. So a bit of risky activation there with him, with him holding two people. But again, he's not really using the tail, is he? So it's it's not so good. The Crocs isn't that good in this matchup. Um, or actually, better than a judge in this case uh, against the Crocs. Wow, ballsy. Three plus rolls all over here. Oh, yeah. Another dodge. I mean, another leap into a dodge even though it's a two plus he's, i mean to be fair the blitz no matter how he set up the blitz was always going to put him under a lot of pressure but even without a blitz ducky's first turn would have just he would have marked up loads of guys wouldn't he and then what can he do apart from do agility three stuff which is which is a bit shit, isn't it <laughs> this is this is lizard men in a nutshell they're just everyone on the team is stronger than everyone on your team apart from the little shitters that don't fight so, yeah, it's, it's just it's just a lizard man team against you know a normal a normal team, well a, a human team. It's one of those turns I'd want to, have to look at for about an hour. <laughs> yeah, because it's really hard to say. Like, did he need to go this hard on turn three with the wizard still in play? Yeah. I mean, it was always going to be. I think he wants to. I think he wants to score as soon as possible. Anyway, you know, just so he gets back on defense. He, he's much happier on defense, isn't he? Um, being <laughs> like, you know, slam. Yeah, I, I don't know about Ducky leaving his movement ten skink in. Yeah, I think I maybe would have saved that for offense. Yeah, for sure. I think it was a ballsy move by Ducky. Um, oh, yeah. Ducky's the lizard. Sorry, I'm, I'm with you now. Oh boy. 
Yeah, yeah, the blitz wasn't that bad, no, because he would, he would, Ducky would have engaged with all of the Saurus straight away anyway, so he would, he would have been in this situation anyway. Well, no, if he hadn't had the blitz, he would have probably moved to some kind of sideline cage and tried a two turn. Basically, he doesn't want a protracted half, does he? Because he just like that. He wanted to get on defense as soon as possible. Basically, that's what Andy wanted, and maybe he just started on defense to have achieved that. <laughs> <laughs> but on the other hand, he struggles on offense anyway with, with, uh, with like, slam struggle on offense. So I guess have your offense with 11 players, get 1 0 up, and then see what happens. I, I can see why he chose to receive, to be fair. But he's in a, he's in a fucking pickle here, isn't he? Just getting yeah. smacked straight away. Did, did you like that chain? No. <laughs> yeah, it seemed like there was an option to move the ball carrier. You know, maybe adjacent the king. He uses blitz though. I don't know. Another one of those turns you'd want to look at for an hour. Yeah. Because exactly. the the risk of this happening is just too high. And on this replay, we it's happening succinctly. Yes, that is the, that is the pain, isn't it? Maybe we should slow it down and really really analyze every move. <laughs> Up to you, buddy. Up to you. Take an hour and a half to do this match. I don't know. No, I'd, I think it's on the one hand it it kind of needs it, but on the other hand, it would. Be a ball yeah, look, it was just—it was just two console players, so like no one would care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. But yeah, it's, it's obviously going to be tough for him against against lizards with, with the blitz. Yeah, oh, without a doubt. the blitz to make it yeah. a lot harder because his plan was to two turn as fast as possible, and now he's in a kind of protracted, um, just normal two-one grind kind of drive, which is not what he wanted at all. Also, this this Croc has made two Kaz here, isn't he? Instead of just not activating and keeping two people. But then, to be fair, he's not keeping them up. He wasn't keeping them up that occupied due to the fact that they could leap away on a three plus. So, I don't hate him activating the Crocs. And uh, Ducky certainly likes making two nice blocks. It's his favourite thing. That and fouling are Ducky's trademarks. So D Ducky pretty much always maximises the two dice blocks, doesn't he? Which is, uh, which is obviously standard good play. But I'll jump up huge. Well, not once you cast. Oh, Hans a bit greedy. I would have liked the uh, the Palion guy standing, so yeah. that the Saurus can't lose himself three and a free and make that five plus. Yeah, yeah, that was. Uh... And it was a KO as well. So you're just really going for the Kaz on like not the greatest. Oh, it was pretty good. It was a pretty good skank. No, it wasn't. It wasn't a. K he didn't pile on a KO. He did pile on a KO, didn't he? Oh my god, he piled on a KO. That's fucking horrible. Wow, shameful, Ducky, shameful. No, Andy Davo, that was horrible. Oh, Andy's the the other guy. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, I don't like that pile on the KO. Yeah, he wanted to get the movement ten out, but there's 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 a time to want to get the movement ten out for the for the rest of the match. But Ducky still Ducky still has his apple. Yeah, Ducky's gonna apple it. You know, you want to not concede, don't you? First, win the game first. Not, I'll take that guy out for the rest of the match. That was not the time to pile on there. I don't think so. Yeah, I hate that pile on. <laughs> I really don't like that pile on at all. Finally, the crocs bone heads, but it doesn't matter. Yeah, exactly, Don Nicellis. Yeah, there's a time and a place. There's a time and a place to go for the hard cars. <laughs> if the roles are reversed and Ducky piled on with a Saurus on, on like Andy's killer, fair enough. But, uh, am, I, am I tripping, Jim, or was that, that Saurus able to just blitz and pick up the ball and then score? Yeah, he was, yeah. Yeah, and the, the blitz that did happen seemed a bit. Not, not really important. Yeah. I would have loved to have made yeah. that attempt. So maybe the save move first of marking the ball and then the or getting near it, and yeah. the second to play as the blitz, and then make that attempt. I mean, to be fair, if he didn't pile on, there was a chance of the frenzy saurus pushing him twice, and then this other saurus GFIing twice to surf him. But um, <laughs> yeah, I guess Ducky just wants to pick up with a skinker turn later, but which is which is understandable, isn't it? Picking up the ball there, that's a bit tough. It is a bit tough. Yeah. Oh, 
it almost guaranteed that the wizard comes out then too, and there's a wizard on your crocs rather than your skink. Yeah. Yep, true. And by crocs, I mean Saurus. Yep. Yes. <laughs> yeah, because I don't think he's got any strip ball left, has he? No, oh, he does. He's a strip ball, but he's on the he's on the other side. Yeah, it's not that in depth, is it? Maybe I don't know. Do people want more in depth or not? I don't know. Congratulations, Mankis, by the way. He's in a he's in a pickle here, isn't he, Andy? Definitely. Obviously, you've just got to hit this strip ball, haven't you? I guess we can do the, well, the whole summies is, the, <laughs> the whole semis, there's only two semis, isn't there? This was a quarter, so, um, yeah, I can do the two semis, yeah. With Fash, maybe, even, wouldn't that be amazing? Yeah, so it's obviously, he maybe vegetables. thinks he's got it wrapped up here. A little bit. If he can roll a three plus. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if he can roll a three plus. I think, yeah, you could have gone for the 5-plus last turn, but I think now, with only having three turns, you've got to go for the 3-plus pickup. The only problem is, of course, that the uh, that these fuckers can leap and hit his skinks pretty easy, can't they? He does have a guard here, but still. That, the, guard, the guard's in a good spot to protect him from the leap. From the piling on guy, I think. Jump up. Jump up blitzes are good, aren't they? He really wanted a push there, didn't he? Anything could have happened with a, with a push, and then he maybe he's could have got it back. Leap fails. He's got no rerolls at this point. Unlucky to fail the leap, but then obviously the pickup would have been very unlikely. Oh, the crocs gets in. Ish. I think I would have liked to have seen the blitz on the other guy, so he could have blocked the other one into the crocs, maybe. But then he, he doesn't want the tackles on the ball, so... Also, maybe he would have blocked this guy away to get him into the action. But then, you know, B Ducky does like to uh, does like to make a lot of blocks, so... You can't... You can't criticise him for maximising two dice blocks, can you? That's something you can't really... Unless it, unless it exposes the ball a bit. There was a block with block uh, on the edgy Bella that he didn't take. Uh, presumably the Saurus didn't have a block. Yeah, so, you know, that's the type of block I wouldn't take, for sure. Yeah, yeah, he didn't have block, no. Let me know when you get the kill group event, and I will unpause. All right. Let's have a look at cheerleader ass first. Uh, kill, stay out for Duxter. So yeah, so yeah, it doesn't matter him scoring on turn seven because and he's only got one turn. That's fair enough. Or does he? Or does he? Oh does he? Ah, yeah, the possibility of a right, I guess. But still, I, th I think I would have just stalled there. For, uh, maybe his ducky could have stalled it out because yeah, no, he wanted two chances to get his uh, his guy back. I'm sure. I'm sure he wanted two chances to get his movement ten guy back. So, yeah. Stand firm is on the, on the line. That's a sick. That's a sick setup for one turning, isn't it? <laughs> Riot, sickening, unlucky ducky. <laughs> did he set up for the one turn or did he set up? I don't know. Doesn't really look like he set up for a riot, but then also didn't really set up for one turn. Maybe he's just going to try to do damage. Yeah, now the frenzy guy would have to be the one doing the blitz if it was a legitimate one turn attempt. Oh, never mind. Now he can leap. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, that seems fine based on his blitz. Yeah, the uh, the catcher. I still think it was a hard one turn. I, I read. Really, hmm. I really, I really don't think. Maybe it was a self for one time. I don't know. If I know you had the capacity to go back in time and watch it. <laughs> I, d I don't know. I think I think it probably wasn't possible. I would have been really lucky. I really don't think it was possible though because he, he's got so many spots to fill. I guess he can just do three plus leaps. 
So. Exactly. And so with the blitz from behind on the skink, getting, you know, one square forward and the subsequent square on the other one and then a third, I think you get three squares easy. Three squares, but he needs four, doesn't he? That is simply not true. Does he? The yeah, does not so. support your assertion. Nice. Uh, maybe the frenzy man that was in the middle gets the extra. I don't know, see, in, in these high-level PC games, it's so much harder to spot things, whereas when you're watching a console game, you can just see everything instantly. Because <laughs> it's very... Uh... <laughs> I mean, that was essentially a potato, though. Why didn't you just keep it back? Why didn't you just keep hold of the ball one square back? I mean, it was, okay, it was it was getting blitzed by a source, but he was still getting just hit by a fucking skink, wasn't he? He would have taken the ball down. I didn't like passing it that turn. I would have, I would have kept it back, I think. I guess he's got no reroll, so he wants it as far forward as possible. And, and hope that Ducky fails. Yeah, I guess that's fair enough. Yeah, Ducky wanted two chances then, they turn back on. Yeah, the, the skin the skin allowing the chain push was pretty bad when, when you know he's got a leap, yeah. Yeah, it was a bad one turn defense. So. Was there a sidestep skink option? There was, yeah. There was. Uh. He was marking the catcher at this moment in time. Maybe he could have marked this better with leaps, you know. Should have thought maybe he's about leaping out and stuff. Because he's, he's got a leap out here, hasn't he? And uh, things like this. He's got two agility four guys, hasn't he? He's got to get lucky with this. Lucky with this scatter, hasn't he, here? Not bad. Incredibly lucky. Oh, God. Oh, Ducky's feeling sick at this point. That is an insane scatter. Absolutely insane. And yeah, I, I actually don't like the last move by Ducky because he, he did get a free, just a two plus leap out there, didn't he? If he if he kept this back, he would have had to make a leap and a dodge. And he, he didn't make him do that. Ah, uh, poor fella. I mean, you just can't make that many uh, rolls and and expect them all to succeed. No, no, exactly. You couldn't have expected the whole sequence to work. If he'd had a re-roll, of course, you would have expected yeah, it to pass it. But no, oh, that was a bit like a bit like my uh, my pass, except not as good. <laughs> uh, don't know if you remember when I did a pass from like near the halfway line against somebody and it went, it hit that threw in all around the houses and came back. It was crazy. I like put pass from here to there and it went all the way around. Well, that was still fun. A fun little merry go pass. to himself. <laughs> Thanks, Lee Martins. Yeah, he did, yeah. Yeah, and the scatter got the cars, yeah. Pick up handoff would have been better. Ah. Maybe. Uh, it's a movement six split, so... Is That's it? what Jelly was probably missing. Yeah, the edgy man. Ah, yes. Because it would have been... Yeah, on the double GFI handoff, but with movement six, you need three GFIs. Uh, yeah, that that catch got him a cast, didn't it? <coughs> Ducky gets a three D. Dudley death drop. Lona failed <laughs> trying, to, trying to punch the ball. So, yeah, that was interesting, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, Gesundheit. Sorry, I should have said. Gesundheit. <laughs> and the movement 10 comes back. So, uh. That's interesting, isn't it? So 
now it's Ducky's. I mean, Ducky, the Ducky's drive is the hard part for Ducky, isn't it? You know, he's, he hasn't done much attrition. Eleven players still on the pitch, still got eleven of his own. But now you're what? up against Slam with a wizard, which is no, 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 no. One up in your opponent's half, you've you've done the hard part. This is the easy part now. It's just chill, chill, and hold the ball and don't lose <laughs> it. No, no, this is this is the hard part. It's Slam it? with a wizard. And you've got a hold of the strength two guy. Okay, he's got he's got blocks your hands. He's got an incredible scheme to hold it against uh, to hold it against yeah. Slam. But uh, yeah, it's actually easier on defense against Slam, I think, than it is on offense against Slam for sure. Obviously, the fact he's one 0 up makes makes things a lot easier. It means he can go for a fast touchdown. Maybe he's go for a handoff play to score. You know, go two 0 up, something like that. And the thing is, if you if you yeah. if you hold with your super skink, he gets bolted, which is horrifying. Yeah, true. Yep, yeah, that wasn't a good setup from Ducky, was it? Though he should have Ducky should have absolutely done anti set anti blitz setup. That was a horrible setup by Ducky. Yeah, making making a loner block before covering the ball. Although it's three dice with block. Um, yeah, that was pretty lazy from Ducky here. I think. I like the defense though with the double layer. Yeah. Nerves have got to him. I like this, just keep kinda of keep it out of range ish. Make it hard for them, but still. Anything's possible with slamming the wizard. Absolutely terrifying. It's terrifying for a strength three team, but for a strength two ball carriers it's it's outrageous. Yeah, the problem is though, Valenik. If he doesn't pick it up with a god skink, he gets stripped. So at least this negates strip, strip ball. But yeah, I guess. I guess the fact that he's the got position this gun. I guess that he's got oh, man. Maybe the, maybe there is a good argument. Plus the the, the ball was on the sideline, wasn't it? So, you know, sure hands pick up. I think. I think, you know, he kind of has to. I, don't know. I, th I think we sh I think we should pause, Jim. Okay. This is a really important turn. When when the uh, Venga bus is fully formed, we'll pause it. When the last guy fills the Venga. Okay, okay. I'm I'm still on like turn ten here. Yeah. There's no. Uh, Ducky's ten. There's a Venga bus coming. All right. Oh yeah, yeah. It's Ducky's ten. Yeah. Yeah. He had, he had a sure hand, so you know he. So I think. Yeah, I think going with the God skin is. It's fair enough with it being on the sideline. He, 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 he couldn't afford to use the reroll. Uh, so he's pushed forward. Obviously, he's got to expect the wizard this turn. So I guess that is a good time to uh, to pause. All right. So just at the end of the turn, when these Venga bus hasn't been formed, and instead it's some weird, I don't know, broken tea. Let me know when you're there. Yeah, this guy just ran away instead of getting in the mix. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Uh, let me say, so yeah, let me only pause. Because there's a number of considerations. Okay. Okay. I guess it's going to start with a fireball or a bolt. Yeah, okay. Whoa, right. whoa, whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's My happened. Bad. It's ha Okay, I'm right. pausing now. <laughs> All right. So first of all, we have Ducky uh, choosing what looks like to be in a scoring position to just outright win 2-0 and say, ha-ha, I, I care not. Yeah. And that's what yeah. he's saying when he's got himself in, a, in that position. Uh, this king's fast enough that it can go around any two-man screen, or even you know three men two layers deep. Yeah. Uh, so screen is not really an option, so it forces Andy to go for the ball here. Yeah. So you have the assumption then from Ducky is, I'm going to get hit with a wizard. Uh, will it be the bolt or the fireball? Yep. And he's a greedy fella. I think he'll fireball, <laughs> but a bolt, a bolt will be, you know, just as effective. Mm -hmm. So, with that in mind, is there something Ducky could have done to further mitigate the inevitability? Yeah, I think I think he absolutely could have uh, could have got another screen in here, couldn't he? He could have had a player here and a player here on that, on, <laughs> which on, is which is in here on my screen. 
So I would. Are you looking at it from Ducky's point of view, Fash? Uh, I think I'm on Devo's point of view. Okay, get get in chase cam. <laughs> okay, chase cam. Yeah, so a square back, as Ducky has just said, yeah, but a square back, the ball carrier and the other skin could swap positions. But I think the basic thing would be um, a player to the left of the block guard mighty Blosaurus and then a player between the, the rookie Saurus and the sidestep skink. So you would have like much more of a layered screen then, wouldn't you? I think like these two players here in a Tetris kind of shape. <laughs> oh my god. I think two players there will give you another screen. Which I mean, it's hard because he can he can fireball and then leap in. So no matter what formation you do, he's gonna hit you with a fireball and a leap or a bolt and a leap. So but yeah, I, I really didn't like this tackle guy just fucking off <laughs> to to like nowhere. I really didn't like that. Um Yeah, it seemed a bit odd. Yeah. Uh, that, that, I think that was the, the move that I liked the least there. Um, but yeah. So the 5 all comes in, knocks down both Saurus. Well, are you AV press play? Yeah. Alright, I'll press play. Whoa, I got both Saurus, Jim. <laughs> Oops. And he does a 2 plus leap to get two dice on the ball with Rackle. Gets the ball out. Two plus sleep. Fails the two nice plus Nice skeleton. Because he doesn't have dodge. And that is the thing, isn't it? Like, rookie rookie slam are a bit shit. And, like, wow, greedy going for the pass after using the reroll. Doesn't get it. Over the head. Well, look, he needs to be aggressive here. So, normally, you would never do anything like that. But if you're down uh, on your opponent's drive you got to take the risk. Yeah, I'll just pause it. Yeah, I mean, what what choice did he have at the end of the day? If he if he runs back and holds it, you know, he's there's a Saurus here that can get him. There's Skinks that could swarm him. Maybe he's not this one, actually. The Skinks aren't so much scary this turn. <laughs> uh, maybe he could have brought this guy, these guys back block. Maybe he could have screened somehow. Maybe he could have screened the ball somehow. Um, but yeah, he couldn't really make it safe. And obviously, if he made that pass, he, he runs down and it's it's pretty safe so yeah i think it's worth it's worth making that pass and catch yeah yeah playing for the win for sure yeah, yeah. have you have you had any deaths yet oh muir is dead brutal Ooh. that's his that's his tackle pommel as well huge huge well look it would be huge if uh the next match was a consideration yeah yeah, true. It's it's not that big at this point. The bigger point is that Ducky's gonna. Now I didn't like this from Ducky. This is this is where I started watching it. I'll be honest. I watched it live. I didn't like this. I thought this was pretty greedy from Ducky, because I would have focused on you know clearing these guys next to the ball, and swarming my whole team around the ball. And Ducky Ducky surfed the surfed the wrestle stripper, which is which is fine, but he's slow, isn't he? Like you know the weakness of Slan is that. Although they've got all these wardens, they're only moving six. Um, so, you know, he couldn't have really got in to be that relevant next turn anyway. So, while he maximised oh, two that's... dice blocks and he maximised removals and everything, again, he's got a skink out here. I would, I would have just swarmed the ball for sure. And I thought that was... Uh... I agree. Yep. You're playing to win, and while getting that guy off is nice, the man commitment of six or five is just too much. Let me know when you get that bonehead. That's a huge bonehead. That was a huge bonehead, yeah. Yeah. Huge. And he's hitting without... So he's hitting without rack tackle or anything because he just doesn't have any. <laughs> Yeah, I like I like the play though with uh, the bear getting rid of the Saurus potentially. Yeah. I don't think the bear was blocking the Saurus actually, no, so the pickup was always going to be a tackle zone. Yeah, he was going to go for the he was going for the skin, wasn't he? Hmm. Um, but yeah, no, but still, you know, the AG four catcher picks up on a three plus, three plus, two plus, and uh, let's get all downfield. 
Yep. Maybe yeah, that rationalizes Ducky's break tackle tackle frenzy uh, being the sweeper or pseudo sweeper. Yes. Yeah, and I thought I thought I thought Ducky got away with one there. To be honest, the fact that he he paid so little attention to the ball that turn. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And then uh, it well, didn't didn't cost him. But now, obviously, he, the, these guys that are away from the action get into the action, and it becomes a lot more favourable. Diamond tackles that makes that makes this uh, a little bit dicey, doesn't it? I oh, just punches him. Bit <laughs> with Lona, but well, there's not really much choice, was there? Starting, I mean, there was no one else who could really hit the ball. Obviously, three dice with block is good once he hits there. Yeah, it was the only available one. But still, he hasn't got that much around the ball, has he? Again, uh, there's there's chances for. Andy here, yeah, I think I would have gone for the... Oh, he's gone for the pickup as part of a blitz. And of course had to leap to get there, making the dodge a 3+. plus. Was the, Did the tail do it then? The tail won in the game. It was a 2. Unbelievable. 2 re-rolled into a 2, so... That long crocs, the, the, the single time his tail was relevant. <laughs> it, it, it happened on, on both dice rolls, that's crazy, isn't it? That's some ducky luck, that is. <laughs> no, it, it, actually, it, it's not quite luck. Uh, Dion's previous turn, the skink that made the block, uh, I think a lot of people would have just attempted to dodge out from diving tackle, yeah. uh, having the diving tackle out on the ground. So it looks that wouldn't even strictly be bad in itself. But ducky re uh, positioning his crocs to force it to make the leap in, and then the dodge. Yes, of course. Up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm not saying he just herp derped and got lucky. Of course. It, yeah, it was created luck. Yes. Yes. Yeah, which is you know blood ball. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Every, everyone says that you know Pete W is lucky, but he gives himself the chance to get lucky, doesn't he? And, and obviously, yes, he got the Crocs in, in, in basically the only relevant position he's been in ever to to force a dodge, at exactly the right time. But then it was you know incredible that it was a double two. Maybe he shouldn't have. Nah. There was an argument for not activating there, wasn't there? But I mean, why not at this point? seems pretty much over even though the uh i like the position of his skink here because it stops just the straight leap out so that's good of him. and then he dodges through it is good <laughs> that, that was bad because he could have left to there couldn't he and then dodged three four five six seven eight there was still two dice in the ball there from that rookie lineman I'd like some safer moves before this frenzy. Yeah. I don't know, he's got three rerolls, hasn't he? It's, uh, I think Ducky's just doesn't care so much now. <laughs> like, it's pretty Yeah, yeah much true. Old. It's, well, we're nitpicking, it's, you know. Yeah. The nail's in the coffin. Yeah. Oh, well, he misclicked there. He wanted to leap. But Cyanide said no. Oh wow, that's that's brutal. Yeah, that was a bizarre dodge. Bang, he could have done the leap first. There was two dice in the ball there, wasn't there? Which was sloppy from Ducky, really, I guess you could say. It was all a result of that that great surf from earlier. The men not quite being in position to properly screen post pickup. Yeah, all these guys could have been moving for all rolling dice, but I mean, the dice he rolled was a two dice with block, so, you know, you can't really fault him. In a game that he's already won, the only dice roll he made was a two dice with block. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, the bear is just a croxy door, so. I mean, it, it is nitpicking to say, you know, yeah, he didn't do his savings first there, because. Oh, definitely. But, but it is still, you know, something you should always look out for every single turn in every single game you play. True. True. Yeah. Is he going to when that quad skull comes, gonna then you lose out on 950 pounds. <laughs> yeah, true. I would have blocked. I would have gone for the surf. I don't know about you. I would have gone for the surf. Just to be funny. <laughs> and then I would have written in the chat, that's not even remotely fair. 
<laughs> Just quietly, that's what I would have done. I don't know, I don't think his dice were particularly bad, I mean, he, he had to... Yeah, no, uh, no. I don't think the dice were particularly crazy one way or the other, were they? I mean, obviously, in the no. end, Ducky started to get a lot of cards. Um, but... Is it a lot? Like, really? Three cars. Three? Two KOs. Is that, is that really a lot? It's not, not exactly. It's not crazy. But, you know, they, they, were, they were late, weren't they? They were late. Yeah. They, they weren't super relevant. Like that, like that last cars wasn't relevant at all, was it? The, the, even the killing the tackle pummel wasn't that relevant in terms of the game. Because it came late. So... Yeah, look, I just don't play enough slant to know, but I think it was Andy's offense that just seemed really odd. Just lots of dice. You know, when you're playing halflings, sure. I mean, the slant or certainly aren't a, a tier one team, but I don't think they're quite halfling tier. No, no. I don't I'm, think you strictly need to be I'm, going that ham. No, but the the thing is though, with with slant, they they're so good on like you know they're terrifying on defense. They are absolutely terrifying on defense. So, so you no, truly no. play them like an Aaron Woody? You just score ASAP at all costs. Yeah, basically, I, th I think that's a fine strategy with, with vampires and and slam because you're just so terrifying on defense that you just want to get away. Like obviously, vampires are a lot more a lot more risky um, because vampires, you know, might tear their team apart. So, so if <laughs> vampires getting off offenses, yeah, I think offense is just something you've got to endure as, as vampires and to some extent as slam. Whereas defense is what you need to uh, win the game with. So, Ducky says it was absolutely false. <laughs> and now, of course, because people who aren't console peasants uh, are forcing their opponents to roll dice. But I think that instead of you know leaps over the top and you know potatoes downfield for you know maybe blocks on the ball, instead of doing that uh, with you know incredible risk where every any failure is just instant turnover, uh, maybe there were two die blocks for pushes uh, with a re cage in the center. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. And so he, agree he went for the greedy that. option. I agree, Fush. Yeah, he, I think which, which is which seems to be rationalised for sure. Like it, it's not, it's not bad, but it, you know, it, it was just lots of dice, and it was a, a very high risk. Sure. Yeah, but everything must work, sort of way. He is, he is when lacking guard, up. isn't he? He's got he's got guard on the bear, and uh, he had guard on on another player, so he's got two guards. So he, he probably could have just engineered some two dice blocks instead of going ham. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Vlenic, I would just score as, when I could as Vamps, <laughs> basically. I would just get them off, off offense. I mean, obviously, sometimes you can stall it out to turn eight, but against a good opponent, I would just want to be off the pitch and, uh, and back, on, back on defense, really. Um, you know, get the, get the points and then go on defense. Um, I don't think he could one turn because he didn't have the players, so I, I don't think he tried to one turn. No, because he got the MVP to level him up. Which, if he'd got that before the match, he would have had dodge, wouldn't he? He, he might have been able to make that pass that would have made it one one. Um, so yeah, I guess Ooh. I guess when it came down to the crucial rolls, um, Andy was somewhat unlucky. But the crucial rolls were two pluses and three pluses, and a string of two pluses and three pluses without re rolls. So, you know, for instance, that, that the pass that the catcher failed, he had to make a 2 plus leap, 2 plus dodge, 2 plus pickup, etc., etc. So. Yeah. Do you recall any double skulls? No. Like, the, no one was really robbed of their dice rolls unfairly, though their re rolls unfairly. It all came from, you know, Ducky not getting a 3 plus pickup or uh, Andy failing leaps and dodges. Yeah. Which you sort of expect. So it wasn't, you know. It wasn't you double sculling three turns in a row and then you're just done. No, exactly. And he didn't re-roll a block in the entire game. So... Yeah. <laughs> you know. That's that's a dream. That's pretty lucky. <laughs> yeah. Rarely got pushes. To have every re-roll. Every re-roll you can use then on your leaps. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. So, no, I don't think, I don't think the, the one turn was possible there for him on the, on the, last, on the last turn. Well, plus it didn't matter because he's lost 2-0, hadn't he? So it didn't fucking matter if he'd scored the one turn or not. So might as well just just do a thing. Um, yeah, he didn't get a lucky break. Yeah, but it, uh, did he need a lucky? That's break? the bluff I like. I like it when no one gets a lucky break, where everyone you know has a reasonable outcome happen. Yeah. 
you know, things just just play, <laughs> just things that happen as they should within reason. Yeah, I mean, that's the bubble I like to watch. He, he was a little. And for that, was this a, was a great game for it. He was a little further behind than he wanted to be because he obviously wouldn't want to be the hundred k down for the bribe. But Slan with a wizard is is the dream, isn't it? Like you know, you really want to have the wizard. I think they would rather be one hundred and fifty TV down than not be one hundred and fifty TV down. So you know, in a lot in a lot of cases, um, I don't think he needed to be lucky to win. No, I don't think he had to get lucky to win. I think he had to set up to anti blitz formation, and then uh, and then so that the the blitz wouldn't have been as impactful as it was, which it wasn't. It wasn't that impactful in the end. It was more like a perfect defence, which is still horrible. I mean, a perfect defence against Lizards is horrible. And then after that point, maybe he panicked a bit rather than just making two dice blocks. Lizardmen are definitely not a far better team than Slam. No, no, no. If anything... I mean, they're better, but not far better. Yeah. If, if, if Andy had had and five more skills on his team instead of a bribe... Then that makes a huge difference to to the to the look that he needs to win, doesn't it? That that you you, you obviously he's going to be rolling dice. That's the nature of Slan. Slan is the nature of rolling dice, isn't it? You know that they're going to be making three plus leaps, whether you like it or not, um, and two plus leaps. Like what the leaps? He made eighty percent of leaps. <laughs> you know, didn't use a reroll on a block. Um, that's pretty good, isn't it? Made eighty five percent of gone for it. Um, it's outstanding. Yeah, he didn't. He didn't dice the hell out of Ducky. I don't think he had to dice the hell out of Ducky at all. Yeah, if it was the if it was at the start of the playoffs, then he was a huge advantage. He had a huge not not the edge. He he would have had a huge advantage against Ducky if he'd had the team at the start, because the team at the start was two thousand. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Wolfpack. Yeah, the, the 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 team at the start was was way 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 better than this team. And even just five skills, that five skills, that, you know, that that he's got the bribe instead of, which was shit, wasn't it? Let's be honest. Um, bribe's pretty crap when you could have just had five more skills. If you'd had five more skills, then um, it would have been a lot. But yeah, strength two ball carriers is huge. Um, Do you think that the the lizards are weaker to slime like the wood, like they are to wood elves? Like leaping in on this game, being a big yeah. threat for lizards compared to everything else. Absolutely, yeah. It's a horrible matchup for lizards, and the stats bear it out. For some reason, the LRB six command doesn't work. Um, maybe it's CRP. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, that, that's the thing. They basically hard counter them. But obviously, if the uh, I don't know what I don't know what the command is that everyone's trying to do. But yeah, basically the hard slam basically hard counter lizard men. But um, the problem is, obviously, yeah, if, they, if their team isn't as good, then they don't count them as much. But he still had, like, a wrestle stripper and stuff, didn't he? So he still... Yeah, he still just a few more guard, for sure. A few more dodge. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing. That's the thing. Fash is, uh, Fash is a great... is a great host, and he's very knowledgeable in Blood Bowl, too. He is... He's basically the perfect Blood Bowl caster is what Fash is, sent from the future to change the life of one good. lady. <laughs> in good commentary teams, one will ask a question of the other, even if they know the answer, just so that other person can make a statement and explain that to the audience. Yes. That's high-level commentary, just quietly, yes. which I invented. <laughs> exactly. So on that bombshell, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic. Stay fantastic. fantastic. <laughs>